Hi everybody, this is Diane. Obviously I haven't been able to go to any flea markets yet this year because of the quarantine. But I have been working on getting some homemade ephemera into the shop for you guys. Um, I like to be able to find vintage items that I can then put in my shop, but we're gonna we're just gonna go with homemade ephemera for now. So first of all I have some fabric pieces again. I have eight sets. Um, they're all different. I'm not going to go through every one. I'll just go through a couple so you can see kind of the variety. Again, they're similar to what I had before. So we have some little ones, little clusters. And then they, they just get bigger in size. And there's just a variety of colors and styles. This is just part of a collar, probably, probably from the 80s. So they can be country themed or woodlands themed. There's a summer one with mar uh, watermelons on it. Um, just some pretty pinks and blues. I love that one. This is actually from, I don't even know what it was, a piece of linen and this is how it was hemmed. It had this heart on both sides, both ends of it. So I just cut the ends off and sewed a piece of lace to the top and we have two of these and then there's another piece that was in the middle that I actually sewed some fabrics too and made a flip out of it. I'm just going to separate them by paper bags so I don't get them mixed up. Let me go through another one. That one has butterflies on it. And there will be more. I have so many scraps of fabric, I either have to just get rid of the pile or make flips with them and make use of them, or let you make use of them. So I have eight bundles of fabric flips. Then I have two of these. These are the recipe bookmarks that you guys really liked that I did in a Somerset inspired stash history or something. Each set comes with three bookmarks. Three of them are not counting the lace sticking up the top. They're seven and a half inches and then one of them is the shorter size which is six inches. They're all about two inches or, or less. Um, scalloped edges, I mean not scalloped, but border punched. And there's a copy of a vintage handwritten recipe strip in the center. And then I added lace. I put vintage photo on the edges and then there's bits of tatting and lace and there's a jewel on that one. They're all decorated differently. I used, I used a lot of my flat back embellishments because I didn't have a lot, so I'm going to have to look for some of those. This just has a little slide that I put on a sheer ribbon, and the backs look like that. You could write something in there or use them as a bookmark. This has a lace that has a uh, pearl on it, um, pearl trim. So I didn't add an embellishment because it's already embellished. Okay, this one has the metal piece at the top. That's the short one. We have this one with the ruffled eyelet and the cameo. This one has a blue jewel on it and some blue lace at the bottom. And then this one has another slide with pink and green trim. Okay, and then each one is going to come with a dozen of the punched tabs from the Stampin' Up! Whale tail tab. You just fold them over and glue them onto your page. So it's just a variety, some solid, some printed, and you get 12 of them. I took a bunch of scraps and punched till my hand got sore one night. 
So I have two sets of those. And then lastly, this is a variety bundle. And I have some numbers for them. I have six different sets, and I am going to let you choose the set for these. So this is going to be set number one. Now some of these have some of these are the same in all of the bundles and some are different because I made some items specifically for putting these bundles together and then the rest of them are things I pulled out of my stash so they're all different. So again a bundle of handmade of uh, a dozen tabs and I think for all of these I put three of each or tried to. Yeah so there's three of this one three of the blue, three black, and three of that pattern. So there's two solids and two patterns. The other ones I just showed you were much more random. I just grabbed 12 and threw them in a bag. These were more specifically chosen. They're all different in each set. And I'm not going to open each set when I go through each bag. So I did two of these corners. Some of these are... Oh, there's three here. I don't know don't think there's supposed to be three. That one was stuck. Um, so these are embellishments that I made for recent journals, so I made extras. So these went with the Miss Nellie journals. So I just made a corner tuck. So this square end, the two, how do I say it? This end where the doily is flat, that stays open, and this stays open. You glue down this and this in the corner. And there's a doily and either a Tim Holtz flower or a, or a fussy cut digi. And then I made, I think these were also in the Miss Nelly TNs. So I made extras of these with the stamps on the front. You can write on the front little um, props, journal props on the front. And on the back are the really fun stamps that you can journal on. And these are all the same in every kit. This is just a book page that is folded and sewn messily as an envelope. Here's a tag that I made, and this is hand sewn on. It's um, silk ribbon. This is a genuine cigarette card and a button sewn on. And you can write on the back. This one is stenciled or sprayed. It's got corrugated painted corrugated cardboard and a cut out from a book. It's got corner punches and you can write on the back. And this is a handwritten recipe with um, scrapbook paper, recipe stuff, just a little strip sewn in between and it's sewn to coffee dyed paper. So it's quite an eclectic bunch of stuff here and this is set one. This is set two. Again, we have the punches and two corners. Now this one, I did remember to do two of them for the right-hand side. Only two out of the whole bunch that I made. So this one happens to have one of those. And the same index cards. And then the um, eclectic bunch this is a Tiffany and Company stamp, stamped on pink paper and sewn to index card, I think. And there's just a little piece of vintage fabric there. I put both of these in this kit because they could both be used in the same journal. It's got denim with stars on it. There's a piece of vellum sewn in there. This is from a children's dictionary and um, corrugated cardstock. And then this is made with a vintage advertisement from an old magazine. Piece of pretty card stock. Some fabric at the top. Set two. Set 
set three tabs. This is the other one that was made for the right hand side. Here we have a book page that was cut with a jelly bean soup sack die. Um, and then it's just got a collage. And this is a vintage cream uh, cap. This is, I think that's a vintage ticket and some vintage lace. This was a just a tag made out of packaging. You can write on the back and it's got a butterfly napkin Mod Podge to it. This is also butterflies. I put those two together so they can go in a butterfly or floral journal. So this is another napkin that's just Mod Podge to file folder and corner punched and inked around the edge. And this is vintage gift wrap or florist wrap with a um, vintage pattern piece tissue sewn to it. You can write on the back. Set three. Set four. Tabs. These things. And the two corner pockets, tuck spots. There's a large tag that has pockets and it has several tags included inside the tag. Tags in a tag. Here's another piece of packaging that I made into a pocket with some mulberry paper and a digital postcard. And you can trim that if it's too big. This is a piece of the file folder with the vintage documents on it with the little bits of Tim Holtz. I needed, I think, two more pieces to have an even amount, like the same amount in each. So I grab, I think I had to take two of these and add them. So these are all vintage here and that's Tim Holtz tissue. And this is a file folder with a piano roll piece glued to it and it's all inked and it's got a digital lace and a tiny, tiny little pocket. There's a little card in there. And this came from a children's book. So I made this to be a tuck spot that would go on the page like that because it's rounded on that corner and then you could tuck something in there. Number five has the tabs the journal cards and the tuck spots. Here's another large tag that's made matchbook style. You can write in there. It's got sorry silk tied in it. Here's one of the tags I made out of the binder dividers that have the copper eyelet. This is from a vintage book. This was made with Tim Holtz paper. And this is a purchased craft colored jar. And I punched this out of paper, added some cheesecloth, and that is a vintage um, milk cap and some vintage lace. Number six. Here are the pockets, tuck spots. I think every one of them had one Tim Holtz and one fussy cut. I don't think I did that on purpose. Here's more of that Prima packaging and I made a tag out of it with this cute little girl glued on and some sari silk. It's glued to uh, coffee dyed paper. This is an index card that comes out it's slotted in there and this was in a metal flip file thing that I got at a flea market and I just collaged some stuff on it. You can journal on the back, you can write on the card. 
This is made with copy dyed paper and some book page. And this is a book page image. So is that Gone with the Wind? And this is a digi and some lace. So this could be a tuck spot. Also, glue it here and here and tuck something in there. And then lastly, we have a copy dyed glassine bag with a collage. This is some from a craft merchandise bag, some fabric, a tag, um, vintage coupon, an eggnog, this is vintage, milk bottle cap, and a bit of lace. And that is set number six. And that's what I have for ephemera packs. I have the fabrics, the bookmarks, or, or long skinny tags, and the um, mixed ephemera sets, okay? So come on over to my shop and check them out. If you purchase more than one item, I combine them and refund excess shipping. Thanks so much for watching, and I hope to see you at my pretty pink cottage, which I will link below. Bye-bye.